Emig task number three, extracorporeal knot tying. To perform this task, you will be provided with two laparoscopic needle drivers and a Maryland grasper that you can use in place of one of the needle drivers if you choose. You will also be provided with a choice of either an open or closed knot pusher and a pair of laparoscopic scissors. You'll be provided with one or two hemostats that are optional for your use and a pair of standard suture scissors to cut the needle off of the suture before performing your knot tying. You will be required to pick a side of the lap trainer to stand on. You must remain on this side for the duration of the task. You may utilize any of the ports on the trainer. The Penrose drain will be set at a 45 degree angle either toward or away from you inside the lapper bowl. To perform this task, you will be provided with a long 90 centimeter piece of suture on a curved needle. You will use this suture to close the opening in the Penrose drain utilizing an extracorporeal knot tying method. To do this, you will tie three single throws, transferring each throw into the trainer using the knot pusher. The maximum time limit for this task is 10 minutes or 600 seconds. Timing begins when an instrument is visible on the monitor and ends when both ends of the suture are cut from the completed knot inside the trainer. Errors will include deviations from the marks on the pen rows, tearing through the pen rows drain, incomplete closure of the pen rows, any knots that slip or come apart under tension or have gaps, also known as air knots, and pen rows avulsion. Timing will begin when an instrument is visible on screen. The suture should be introduced into the lap trainer, holding on the suture as opposed to holding on to the needle. You will attempt to pass the needle through both marks on the pen rows as accurately as possible. Any deviation as seen here will be considered an error. Once you've passed the needle through the pen rows, you will remove the needle through the same port that you introduced it and cut the needle off for safety before beginning knot tying. You will begin your extracorporeal knot tying with a single throw, which you will push down into the lap trainer utilizing your knot pusher. You will continue this two more times until you have achieved three knots. Upon completion of your final knot, you will use the laparoscopic scissors to cut both ends of the suture off of the completed knot. You do not have to do this with both sutures at the same time. 